Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Crystal. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today I'm here to haul with you what I got from Loungefly. Now Loungefly has been coming out with some amazing drops for Halloween and I'm so excited. I'm already feeling my Halloween vibes. I pulled out my Halloween clothes out of my Halloween storage bucket and I'm so excited. I'm so here for it and I couldn't help myself. I literally told myself I'm not going to buy that many Halloween bags. I do have my Halloween Loungefly here. I only have one, two, three here. And then I have the lock one down there. Or, yeah, lock from Lock, Shock, and Barrel. I do consider that a Halloween one. Even though I make it traditionally, it's the night before Christmas. But it can be Halloween or Christmas. So I'm really excited um, to add some more Halloween bags to my collection. So if you've seen Loungefly's Instagram or anything from them, they are dropping things like left and right. It's been crazy. But I'm here to show you some things that I got from Stitch Shop by Loungefly. It is already opened, so I haven't, I did cut it, but I haven't opened the box yet. So we're gonna do that right now. I cut the box, but I haven't opened the box, if that makes sense. I just got home from work and, oh yeah, we're like in the swing of things and the kids are excited and we're like six weeks into school. So I am feeling it already, like ready for Thanksgiving break. <laughs> but yeah, so it's been exciting, exciting to say the least. So. I opened up my package and everything is in there. So I did get two things from Stitch Shop by Loungefly. I will show you the first thing and then I'll try to try it on for you. I don't think I've tried on any of the Stitch Shop items I purchased. That I, maybe I've tried on a dress or two, but this is one of the Sandy skirts. So this is the Sandy skirt from Stitch Shop. So the Sandy skirts have been interesting for me because when I first started buying them, I bought a 2X. So I do have the princess, the princess volume that came with this bag, the volume one skirt. I did purchase that in a 2X. And then, like, it's gotten, I mean, I don't know if it's, like, bigger or what's going on. I mean, I don't think I've lost that much weight, but I mean, maybe a pound or two that I can recall. But now I'm getting 1X, and it's it's doing okay. Their skirts tend to have, like, give to them. So they have, like, an elastic part right there, which I'll show you. And I think that in itself makes a huge difference. Because I'm wearing a skirt right now that I got from Unique Vintage. And there's absolutely no give in this. It's, like, just flat all around like there's no give in this skirt at all so I do like that these skirts have a give but then it kind of like it's like di not difficult but it changes a little bit the way the skirt fits on you because my measurements I do measure my skirts here and so I usually get a 39 inch on the waist and when I was doing that that would put me in the 2x category but so because of the elastic you see the elastic there there's that much give. So because of that give, I've been putting myself in a one, a one X. Yeah, this is a one X. So I did get this one in a one X, which we have the stitch shop by lounge fly tag there. And because of that give, I'm hoping it fits fine here in the waist and I think it should. So yeah, it looks like it should. So this is a candy corn colored skirt. It's so cute. Oh my goodness. I'm finally like looking at it in person. So it has polka dots. It's so adorable. We have Mickey as a bat, Mickey as a ghost, and Minnie as a spider. And then Mickey as a pumpkin. And then it goes around. Minnie as a pumpkin. And then, oh, look, they're different. So we have Minnie. I didn't even notice that. So there's Minnie as a spider and then Mickey as a spider. So does it, like, alternate? I get, oh, look, it, how did I not notice that? I'm so silly. So there's Mickey as a pumpkin. And then there's Minnie as a pumpkin there. What? How did I not know that? And then I just see Mickey as a ghost though that's so cute i did not even notice that it alternated like that and then the bottom trim is just black spider webs with mickey silhouettes as a bat and then as with all the stitch shop items you do get a pin so this is the pin i got with this one so we have mickey and minnie in a jack-o-lantern how cute are they so cute so stitch shop by loungefly i don't know if the other item i got is the same pin or not but we will see. So like I said, I'll try this on for you and I'll put that in at, well, after this clip. So the next item I got is a bag and it is also from Stitch Shop by Lounge Fly and it's the ghost. He's so cute. So it is the Mickey ghost. So like I said, the minute it dropped, I did order this. Um, Lounge Fly for me drops a little bit later in the morning which I'm able to purchase pretty easily. Other stuff, like I can't because their drop times are different. So, this is so cute. I mean, he's all wrapped up, obviously, but, oh, look, so the, the little, 
pin is here. Again, this is also from Stitch Shop by Loungefly. The pin for this one is a ghost, so it is different. So it's a ghost Mickey with leaves all around him. How cute. That's very like, oh yeah, it's like very tinted like orange. I don't know if you can tell, but it's like fall. And then I'm going to have to open him. Oh, it's like Christmas on Halloween. Ah. He dressed so well. I'm like really impressed. Wow. This is like really, I'm like, now I'm like hoping my hands are not like, I literally just came from school. I mean, I washed them, but it's like, you know how you have like oils and stuff? And then this is white. It's like, ah, I don't want to get any transfer of anything. And there he is. Oh my goodness. He's so cute. I thought he would be so cute as like on display as well. Like whether I put him here in my office or like in the living room. <laughs> the living room. Put my purse in the living room for display. But I mean, it's so cute. Why wouldn't you? So you take off his ear structure. Wow, those kept them really well in place. Look at that. Even like the bags I get now, I like try to keep certain things, but sometimes it's hard for those parts of the bags. We have his little hands, the little ghost hands, the little pull tab. Look at his face. So it is like a little applique here with his eyes, nose, and mouth. It's like stitched. There's some fuzz here. I don't know if it's the tissue paper. I guess they had him wrapped so well because he's white and they didn't want him to get dirty. So there is a Mickey pumpkin here. I don't know. Is this removable? Is that removable? No, it is not. It is connected right there. So Mickey pumpkin, not removable. The back. And look at all the stitching on the side. I mean, throughout the pumpkin. Stitch shop by Loungefly. Oh my goodness. I guess the strap is inside. This bag is definitely not practical. It is very small. I can tell you right now. Look, that's the opening. It is very small. Um, he is stuffed to the brim. Oh my gosh. Am I going to even be able to like show you? My goodness. So there's the chain. It's not connected to it right now. So there's a chain there. I will um, cut it off and show you guys the fall, the drop of it. So I'll do that in a little bit. But let's see if I can take some of this out so you guys can see. Wow, they really stuffed this one. I'll probably keep it stuffed. I do tend to keep my bag stuffed and then I take stuff the stuffing out when I use them um obviously and then I just put it like on the side so the interior looks like this so it's like fall colors but it's like they're look like they're ghosts they almost look like ghosts on fire like in a weird way can you see that look at the little ghosts I'll show you this way so the little ghosts they look like they're glowing but it's just the colors of them so this opening is not very wide look that's my hand not the widest of openings so like you can get stuff in there but it has to go through that opening to get in there the bottom is pretty big like down there but once you but you have to get it through this right here so this is not like the biggest bag in the world by any means i think that's everything nope there's one more in there so there you go that's the hole the hole there's the whole bag so it is pretty much like all of this right here is the purse and then I'll take this off and I'll go try the skirt on so I can show you everything and how it fits on me. All right, so the One X did fit fine. It's like perfect. It doesn't have that much give to it. I mean, wait, it does have give, but now that it's on me, it doesn't give anymore. So all the give is enough for it to fit me fine. So like I said, this is a One X. So I do have one of the Sandy skirts and a Two X. So now this is my. I guess my third Sandy skirt and a 1X. So my first Sandy skirt I ever bought from Loungefly Stitch Shop was 2X. And now that one's a little loose on me. So now I did go ahead and go with the 1X for these. So again, I do buy skirts that are like a 39 inch waist. I guess I could go down. I mean, I have lost like a little bit of weight, but not a lot at all by any means. So this is what it looks like. We do have all of the little icons. I love it. It's so cute. It looks like... A candy corn like circus tent in a weird way to me and then we have all the little pictures all the icons so cute I love it and it's like knee length on me I mean, you can't see there's my leg but it's a little past my knee and I'm like five five for reference and the best thing it has pockets so I love that I know everybody loves that so if you can't get everything in your little tiny purse you can put stuff in your pockets so I did take the chain off of the ghost. I put it on there. I'm going to zip it up. It, it doesn't have anything in it. It's just 
empty. It has so much fuzz. I need to like cut. Look at this fuzz on there. If you can see it, there's like a lot of fuzz right there somewhere, somewhere like right here. I need to like cut all that fuzz off, but I didn't take off the little pin yet. It's still on there hanging, but I also did not change at all. Like the setting of the strap, the way it came, I just took it out of the plastic and then that's how it sits on my body. So there's your little ghost friend hanging out with you, your little Mickey ghost friend. He's so adorable. I know it's really like I have the mini ghost right there and I purchased her at the end of Halloween last year um, from Bibbidi. So now I have a Mickey ghost and a mini ghost. So the chain again does fit snugly inside the purse. It is a good size, I say, for like a phone and your little wallet or a card holder, but it's not the biggest bag, but it's super adorable. And it looks so cute with this whole outfit. I love it. So cute. I feel like I'm like ready to go like October, like go do all the october -y things. I'm so excited. Are you guys excited for like the new Hocus Pocus movie coming out? Hocus Pocus 2? I am. So there's my new little lounge fly stitch shop bag and my stitch shop by lounge fly skirt. I'm a big fan of stitch shop. If you guys have any questions about the sizings, I can try to help you. I mean, I can tell you what sizing sizes I wear. Like again, the sandy skirts, I do get a 1X now. And then in the dresses, those are, it all depends. All the dresses have different cuts. So thank you so much again for clicking on my video and watching it. I hope you do, guys. Stay around and um, subscribe to see what else I have to come out for October. We'll see what else I have for you. But that is everything from my order from Loungefly. More specifically, Stitch Shop by Loungefly from their Halloween stuff. So Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you all soon. Bye. I completely forgot to mention that he glows in the dark. So his glowing looks kind of dingy. I don't know if you noticed that. I don't know why he's totally white. Um, but like maybe, oh, you keep that glowing on this side. I did put my phone light to him to kind of give him some charge. It does say on the tab that he glows best under UV light. So he glows better under UV light, but he does glow in the dark, so that's exciting. I forgot to add that in there. So, again, thanks for watching.